वेलकम टू गुरुवरिया अकेडमी लर्न एवरीथिंग इन सिंपल वे लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे सेशन गाइड्स हॅलो गाईज आजच्या सेशनमध्ये आपण द लिव्हिंग वर्ड अडॅप्टेशन्स अँड क्लासिफिकेशन्सच्या एक्सरसाईज पाहणार आहोत चला तर मग आता एक्सरसाईजला सुरुवात करूया क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट फाइंड माय मॅच जोड्या लावा इथे आपल्याला ग्रुप ए आणि ग्रुप बी दिला गेलेला आहे त्यांच्या योग्य त्या जोड्या आपल्याला लावायच्या आहेत आन्सर लोटस ॲडॅप्टेड टू लिव्ह इन वॉटर ऑली ॲडॅप्टेड टू लिव्ह इन डेझर्ट्स क्युस्क्युटा होस्टेरियल रूट्स फॉर ॲब्झॉर्प्शन ऑफ फूड वेनस फ्लाय ट्रॅप फ्लावर अँड लिव्ज अट्रॅक्ट इन्सेक्ट्स हिअर वी कम्प्लिटेड आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाव मूव टुवर्ड्स द सेकंड क्वेश्चन रीड द पॅरेग्राफ अँड आन्सर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन्स आय एम अ पेगविन आय लिव्ह इन पोलार रिजन कवर्ड बाय स्नो माय ॲबडॉमेन इज व्हाईट माय स्किन इज थिक विथ अ लेअर ऑफ फॅट अंडरनीथ माय बॉडी इज स्पिंडल शेपड माय विंग्स आर स्मॉल माय टोज आर वेबड वी लिव्ह इन फ्लॉक्स आता आपल्याला ह्या पॅरेग्राफवरून खालील प्रश्नांची उत्तरे लिहायची आहेत ए वाय इज माय स्किन व्हाईट अँड थिक अँड वाय इज देअर अ थिक लेअर ऑफ फॅट अंडरनीथ आन्सर हॅविंग ब्लॅक अँड व्हाईट स्किन इज अ टाईप ऑफ ॲडॅप्टेशन नोन ॲज कॉमिफ्लायजिंग इट सी इट इज कॉल्ड काउंटर शेडिंग and makes it harder for both the predators and prey to see penguins from all sorts of angles the white chest of penguin protects them in the water by camouflaging them from being seen from below against the lighter sky coming through the water surface their black backs helps them blend in with the darker deeper ocean waters below them thus protecting them from their predators they have thick layer of fat because it keeps them warm under such extreme cold conditions b why do we live in flocks sticking close to each other answer we know that penguins live in the coldest region of the earth and in order to find warmth and so lack they remain in flocks with each other in order to escape the extreme cold condition they nestle together to keep each other warm c which geographical region do i inhibit why answer penguins are found in regions of antarctica south america africa and australia many species can also be found in new zealand and the sub antarctic islands d which adaptation should you have to enable you to live permanently in the polar region why the following adaptations are required to survive in polar regions are black and white skin with a thick layer of fat beneath it skin should be covered with feathers small body with small wings presence of strong muscles in chest and wings here we completed our second question now move towards the third question who is lying kon khota bol de a cockroach i have five legs answer the cockroach is lying because it has six leg not five b hen my toes are webbed c cactus my fleshy green part is leaf answer the cactus is also lying because its fleshy green part is a stem not a leaf because their leaves are converted into thorns here we completed our third question now move towards the fourth question read each of the following statement write a paragraph about adaptations with reference to statement a there is extreme heat in deserts answer there is extreme heat in deserts and dry conditions prevail in this region the animals and plants which are found in this region have special modifications which help them to survive in such environment for example 
कैक्टस एंड एकेशिया प्लांट्स विच स्टैंड हॉट एंड ड्राई एनवायरमेंट ऑफ द डेजर्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ Deserts with the help of various modifications they have thick cuticle on their leaf surface and their stomata are arranged in deep pits to minimize water loss by transpiration they have special photosynthetic pathway cam in which stomata remains closed during day time their leaves are reduced to spines to minimize water loss and photosynthetic functions are performed by flattened stems similarly desert animals have adaptive features like thick skin to prevent the loss of water long legs with flat and cushioned soles long and thick eyelashes and nostrils which are protected by folds of skin b grasslands are lush green answer grasslands are lush green due to the presence of diverse types of bushes and grasses grasses are tall so that animals like tiger lion elephant can remain hidden in them animals which are found in grassland have adaptations like strong legs to run fast and capture their prey claws sharp and pointed canine the herbivores which are found in this region have eyes below the forehead which give them wide angle vision which protects them from predators c insects are found in large numbers answer insects are found in large number because they have developed mechanisms which help them to survive even in harshest of environment they are found in extreme conditions of deserts and antarctic region due to these modifications For example grasshopper have long strong hind legs that help them jump house flies have sponging mouth parts to slurp up food stinky bugs and walking sticks have the ability to camouflage d we hide answer there we certain species which are able to hide themselves themselves by blending their color with that of surrounding this adaptive mechanism is termed as camouflage and is method to protect oneself from the predators and prey for example grasshopper lizards butterflies chameleon frogs etc e we have long ears answer animals with long ears are found in grasslands it is an adaptive mechanism which enables them to receive sounds from long distances and from different directions another important function of long ears is that they act as a cooling system the large ears have thin skin and contain an extensive network of blood vessels that provide a large surface area for heat exchange these vessels swell when the animals is hot to allow the blood to cool and contract when temperatures drop to conserve heat here we completed our fourth question now move towards the fifth question answer the following a why is the camel called the sheep of desert answer camel is called the sheep of desert because it is the only means of transport found in deserts the body of camel has undergone various modifications that help it to survive in the hot and dry conditions of the deserts camels have very long legs that help them to walk in the sand and prevent the heat of the sand from reaching their bodies they have a prominent back or hump it stores food which helps it to survive without food in desert for several days another important adaptations that helps the camel to survive in the desert is its ability to conserve water they do not sweat and excrete only small amounts of water through urine the camel dung is dry and devoid of water all this helps the camel to conserve water and enables them to live without water for several days so it is called the ship of desert b How can the plants like cactus and acacia live in deserts? 
with scare waters answer cactus and acacia plants will stand hot and dry environment of the desert with the help of various modifications they have thick cuticle on their leaf surface and their stomata are arranged in deep pits to minimize water loss by transpiration they have special photosynthetic pathway cam in which stomata remains closed during day time their leaves are reduced to spines to minimize water loss and photosynthetic functions are performed by flattened stems c what is the interrelationship between adaptations of organisms and their surroundings answer adaptations is defined as the modification or change in the organism's body or behavior that helps it to survive in a particular environment the environment in which an animal survives consists of many different things and it must learn to adapt to each of these factors in order to survive these factors can be in the form of climate the kinds of food plants that grow in it other animals that may be predators or comp- competitors etc this fact is evident from the following examples cactus has thick cuticle on their leaf surface and their stomata are arranged in deep pits to minimize water loss by transpiration they have special photosynthetic pathway cam in which stomata remains closed during day time their leaves are reduced to spines to minimize water loss and photosynthetic functions are performed by flattened stems camels have very long legs that help it to walk in the sand and prevent the heat of the sand from reaching their bodies the camel has a prominent back or hump it stores food which help to survive without food in the desert for several days d how are organisms classified answer the hierarchy of classification was developed by carolus linnaeus it refers to the organization or classification of organism in the order of rank or importance according to this system kingdom is the highest rank it is divided into phyla or divisions which are further subdivided into classes further divisions include order family genus and species in that order thus species is the basic unit of classification kingdom phylum or division class order family genus species this is the order of classification तर विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो इथे आपला एक्सरसाइजचा व्हिडिओ संपतो तुम्हाला या चॅप्टरचा व्हिडिओ पाहण्यासाठी आमच्या चॅनलच्या प्लेलिस्टमध्ये जावे लागेल त्या ठिकाणी तुम्हाला सेवन्थ स्टँडर्ड सायन्स या फोल्डरमध्ये थँक्स फॉर वॉचिंग व्हिडिओ जर तुम्ही आमच्या चॅनलला सबस्क्राईब केलं नसेल तर लगेच सबस्क्राईब करा आणि बाजूला असलेल्या बेल आयकॉनवर क्लिक करा म्हणजेच तुम्हाला आमच्या नवीन व्हिडिओची अपडेट भेटतील आणि शेअर करायला विसरू नका कारण जशी तुम्हाला मदत झाली तशी इतरांना पण होऊ द्या